up so I can tackle this cupboard right here. The dishes are not the issue. The issue is the fact that I have two shelves up here for mugs and wine glasses. The, these wine glasses are the root of my problem. I remember not that long ago I got them from Ikea, but this is the only shelf they fit on because they're so tall. I am unable to put them in this cupboard, which is where I usually store all of my drinking glasses for like water, wine. It's kind of screwing up with the plan and I need to figure out a new plan. I'm kind of thinking that it might be time to bring all my mugs down here and all the drinking glasses up there and do a little switcheroo because I don't like that things are separated right now. I want it to be cohesive. In case you're thinking, Caitlin, why do you have so many mugs when you live alone? Uh, I don't really want to talk about that. I think we should just move on from that thought process. I just finished putting though all the glasses in these shelves and I think this is so much better because I've got all my drinking glasses, my wine glasses. Now I have the top shelf to kind of clean and sort my mug situation out. Let's take a little break from the mug talk and tackle this chaos of a drawer which is my home for all parchment paper, tin foil, J cloth, sponges. Basically anything that I don't really know where else to put goes in this drawer right here. And as you can see, I have not given it much care over the last little bit. So it just needed a full revamp. One of the things I really love that I was able to do in this drawer because it's so deep is bring in an acrylic organizer from my fridge and use it to house all my sponges together so I know exactly where to find them when I'm looking for a replacement sponge in the future. I also made sure I collected all my J-cloths so that I know uh, that I don't need to buy any more. Shocking. I don't know how I ended up with so many of these, but they're great for cleaning. So I can consider my apartment ready for all the spring cleaning in my future. My dishcloth and apron drawer didn't really need much attention beyond just needing to put anything that needs to be cleaned in the hamper and refolding things so that it's not as chaotic. Okay, so the mug shelf is complete. As you can see, it is full. So take note of that future me when I'm considering acquiring another mug. And then on the shelf below, I just have some of my tea mugs. And this is really just like random stuff from my kitchen. Empty mason jars, a pitcher mason jar, there's baby mason jars back there. Just like empty containers, really. Ice trays. And then below that, I have my vegetable oil on some tin foil because I had a huge spill that I just had to scrub out and I don't wanna do that again. So temporary solution. And then my basket with my immersion blender and my pancake art bottle thing. So it is good. I think this is gonna work out nicely because mugs are very easy to have in this location. And this just makes sense now for what's happening up here. I feel like this shelf, this middle one is my favorite. Doing this kind of stuff though, although very satisfying, is exhausting. So I wanna overdo it today. I'm gonna probably put a stop to it and give tomorrow another go. Also, I need to figure out dinner, so that's priority number one now. I just removed my under the bed storage from underneath my bed and I'm gonna dive into this because these bins contain spring summer clothes that I need to rotate from my wardrobe in my office. In addition to these bins just needing a wipe down because they're quite dusty and I probably should also do a little vacuum underneath the bed while I'm at it. There's also pieces in there that I know I probably can donate because I didn't wear them last year so I'm gonna try stuff on as I take things out and really be firm about whether I want to keep things or not. So that is 
the dealio here. Clearly I didn't do the best job putting things away last year, but alas, it's okay. I'll we'll start with this bin. I know this jumpsuit I wore a lot last year, so that's definitely gonna be a key. I'm trying to think what the best strategy to do this is. Do I take everything out and assess? Half this bin is bed sheets. They're flannel bed sheets. I didn't use them at all this winter, so I really need to make an intention next year to bring them out during the cold weather because they're too they are too too warm to be using right now. Oh, I forgot about all these pieces. Oh, this is a coat. Another coat. Okay, I do have some winter pieces. This is a long sleeve top, so I'm gonna actually keep this tucked away. We're gonna try on these, try on these. What is this? Oh my gosh, these are dresses. This is my graduation dress and a dress I wore to semi. I don't wanna try them on. Here's where we're at. And these are the things I need to try on. Let's get the show on the road. I feel like this dress is doing nothing for me. It's very washed out. <laughs> style this really nice for the fall but it's not a spring piece I don't know I feel super big made in Spain this is my stack of spring summer dresses and a few very very warm weather pieces this is a little pile of things I think I'm gonna be donating I'm gonna give it a couple of weeks I'm gonna set them aside probably more than a couple weeks because I want to wait until the weather gets really warm here in the city and just make sure that they're not pieces that uh, I want to find a way to make work. They're pieces that when I was trying things on didn't make me feel super confident. So I think they'll probably be donates, but we'll see. You never know. Sometimes when you mix a match with other pieces in your wardrobe, it can work, but I'm gonna give that a little bit of time, but it's gonna be set aside. And these are gonna get ready to put in the wardrobe because I can't believe we're heading into warm season territory. You never know with Canada, sometimes Mother Nature likes to play games with you. But I think I'm safe to put sweaters away. So I'm going to go figure out what stuff I'm absolutely not gonna need right now. Spring and fall are always really awkward because you can kind of use your winter wardrobe and your summer wardrobe at the same time, depending on the day, depending on the week. <laughs> so I don't wanna pack up everything, but there are a few things. This bin has essentially become coats and bed sheets, so this is the bin I'm gonna use to put a few winter pieces. now being absent in the city I want to take a look at my boots and give them a cleaning and a conditioning the boots I use are heavy duty winter boots I need to get new ones next year because I think I've had the current ones for the past three four years which is good but they look it I also want to clean the sides of my white shoes so that they're ready to go I have a garbage bag on my counter by the way I don't have Toronto shoes just chilling. You know what though? I do think I'm gonna put on gloves. Early on in my grandfather's life, he was actually a shoemaker in the town that they grew up in, my grandparents grew up in. So he's always someone who really instills this idea of you must clean your shoes. If he were in this apartment right now, he'd do this for me with much better tools. I think that already looks a lot better. I wanna kinda get some of the, the dirt off. I don't know if some people actually clean the bottoms of their shoes ever, but I, I don't bother with that. These ones are looking a little rough. I'm a firm believer that every woman in her wardrobe needs a pointed toe booty. Just instantly makes any outfit look 10 out of 10. Now for these shoes, I'm gonna give them a little water resistant lotion. Ooh, that looks so nice. Look at that. And there you have it. My shoes are all nice and polished and ready to go 
ready to be swapped out for the summer shoes. You know, if you're doing any front entry closet organization in the next little bit, I really do recommend dedicating some time to taking care of the shoes that you have and cleaning them and polishing them, giving them the water resistance spray, whatever they need, because I feel like shoes are one of those easy things to not take care of properly. And if you do take care of shoes, you can get a, a, lo a lot of life out of them. I feel like I've had this pair for quite a few years now and they were from Aldo. I don't think they were too expensive. I'm very happy that I got that done. <laughs> Now I gotta clean this counter because I'm kind of grossed out even though I put a garbage bag down. When organization comes up, I know my instinct is to always think about physical spaces in my apartment, for example. My desk, my office, my kitchen, my under the bed storage, but I do think there's something to be said about taking time to organize something that we spend a little bit too much time on, I would assume, at least it is the case for me, which is our phones. The most important thing that I find when it comes to phones isn't even necessarily you know, making folders or having aesthetically pleasing layouts and that sort of thing. I think the decluttering aspect to your phone is a huge priority or should be a huge priority. So what do I mean by decluttering? I mean decluttering by deleting apps that you don't use. I mean deleting photos and videos that you don't need anymore. You know, we all have those screenshots of, of, of random stuff, duplicates of photos that we don't need filling up our memory space. But my favorite form of decluttering is just going through my follower list and unfollowing people that I just don't feel like serve me anymore. I'm not getting much from their content. Doing a real audit of my feed to make sure that it's a feed that makes me feel good when I'm on it, when I'm on the app, when I'm scrolling away because we spend so much time scrolling and Yes, part of, I think, managing your relationship with social media is knowing when to have distance from it. But at the end of the day, my job is social media. So I'm on here a lot, whether I want to be or not. And if I'm going to be on here, there is ways to make it a more positive experience by making sure the things that I'm being shown are making me feel good. And if they're not, then we unfollow, we hide, post, we block, we do what we need to do. We follow more of the creators that represent things that we do want to see more of on our feed. So I just did a little scroll through my Instagram follow list and got rid of some. I'm going to go through my TikTok list next. And I think those are the two main ones that are usually what I need to focus on. I've gotten a really good head start on organizing my apartment this year, which is exciting because sometimes I feel like I start late and then you get overwhelmed by things. So the next big project I think I have is my closet. I'm not sure if I'm going to bring you along with that in a formal video or maybe just show you some tidbits in a vlog because I have shown me doing my closet before and I don't think I have any big plans for change ups. Closets are just one of those things I think annually need a nice dosage of care, love, and attention. And if you've reached this point of the video, then I really want you to take me up on the last organization piece I was talking about. Go through your following list, through YouTube, through Instagram, through TikTok at some point this week, and just just look through, see what the vibes are. Are, they, are the people that you're following, the accounts that you're following good vibes or wah, wah, wah. And if there's any wah, wah, wahs in there, maybe consider doing some switch ups. I'm gonna go make dinner now. I gotta treat myself for the effort that I put in these past couple days. Toodles, bye. Happy organizing.